All right, Shalom. Uh, this is the brother uh, Gadawan uh, from the SF camp with the brothers uh, Bunia, Yari Allah, Shamar. Yeah, and all praise and glory and honor to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles. Uh, this is a quick little show we're going to do on uh, some events that happened yesterday in uh, Baltimore. So we'll watch it with y'all and bring out some scriptures. The, as you, well, you can see, this internet has demons on it. But uh, you can definitely see what's happening right now. Bunch of Jakes, Israelites, so called black people, are going buck wild out in uh, Baltimore. And right here, I think they throw something at an Edomite woman. Yeah, it's not going to fucking play it. But yeah, the whole point of this is to let you brothers all out there watching, all you other people know that this is this is all prophecy, prophesied in the Bible, you know? That's why the brothers, uh, starting with uh, the apostles, go out and teach and tell you people that these, these race wars are going to happen, man. That people are, are going to start uh, bugging out hardcore. There's going to be insurrections, uproars. And I guess we'll just bring the scripture out right now. The second Ezra is nine and three. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. That's right. So we're going to be seeing earthquakes, uproars of people. There's been earthquakes happening out in Haiti. Everyone knows there was an earthquake there. Was earth, well, Fukushima. Right, but there's going to be more earthquakes. There's going to be even worse earthquakes. It was just one, I believe, in, uh, I think it's Nepal. Nepal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. kind of, I forgot. I, I think Thousands it was in the eight. Died, yeah. Yeah. Yep. So a lot more thousands are going to die. That's right. And then you see uproars of people in the world. Well, there, there have been uproars all over Europe, Ukraine. Uh... Uh, all over uh, places like uh, now here in America, which we've been telling you, you uh, uh, copper tops out here in the U.S. of A. that this is going to be happening. Yeah, that's part of the prophecy. It's going to come to pass for surely. So want to read it again? Uh? Yeah. The second Ezra is nine and three. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world. Then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. Yes, yeah, so the, the Most High already, already set in stone, or so to speak. You already made it. Ha this is all. We're just waiting for this to keep happening, man. Keep going on. Um, <clears throat> for like as all that is made in the world hath the beginning and an end. Yeah, and that's what we're telling you. America has an end, and this is part of the America's end, the end of America, Babylon. Uproars of the people. There's going to be earthquakes here in California. There's already a drought here in California that's uh, uh, never before seen in hundreds or thousands of years. And they're going to start using that drought to, to, to get these farmers out and put their GMO crops in. Charge you for money. Charge you money, uh, extraordinary amounts of money for water. It's going to be like Haiti out here. Mm -hmm. If I may say something, um, past Friday was a was Earth Day, we yeah. saw a celebration, and I was at the, uh, the Central Park in Santa Clara, and I was walking to different booths, and most of them were uh, private and also city-owned companies, like
that deal with water and garbage. And there's these uh, these crackers. They're trying to pass a carbon tax. She's just telling everybody all how great the carbon tax would be, and all this blah blah blah. Basically, want to tax the air. And it's it's gonna fuck over the poor people because they don't have any money to pay the tax anyways. They're just gonna uh, get attacked by the IRS more, attacked by the government more. So yeah, everything's gonna be taxed. Water's you know already getting taxed for water, polluted water. It's not even safe to drink. Well, yeah, now Esau wants to recycle water, shit water, and, yeah. and make you drink it. That's what Esau yeah. wants to do. So to, yeah. all, to all you assholes out there who want to live under Esau, just drink shit water. Go take a shit and put a couple, you know, get a good cup, scoop out the shit, and drink it, man. Yeah. Just drink that. If you if you want to live in Esau society, because that's what's going to happen. Oh, you want to be California dreamers? Come out here. Well, soon you're going to have to eat your, eat your own shit water, all right? I'll keep reading that. Uh, I'm going to go to uh, second Ezra 15. Okay. Oh, okay, I mean, oh, okay, then you're going to come back? Yeah. Hold on one second. Fifteen and fourteen. Salakius. Yeah, because this double he in in rulership he's running this earth into the uh, you know the ground so to speak. Yeah. He uh, when you when you think about recycling, forty percent of those recycles don't even make it back to through the recycling plant because they have they're content what they call contaminated. So they it still has food on them. Like you, stu you stupid people, you just throw away plastic containers of food still in them, they don't recycle that. They put that straight in the landfill. Mm -hmm. That's what I was learning there. Learning about the, uh, you got uh, trash islands out in the Pacific and the Atlantic called... Um, Pacific Garbage Patch? Yeah. Garbage Patches. And then the, you already know what that does to the wildlife in the sea and the birds, you know. It fucks them up because they're eating garbage. And it's all processed GMO. It's bad for humans, too. Yep. So, yeah, this place got to go. Well, yeah, you know, that that's 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 what happened to America. I mean, to this world under the so-called yeah. white man. You know, I'm going to try to bring it up. He just pollutes. Hey, the, he polluted the world. Hey, hey we're going to read it. He has different ways of polluting spiritually, physically, environmentally. And then animals that they get extinct, all, yeah. they get Danger. extinct, and they're all beaching themselves and shit. Yeah, yeah. The other week I was at the the Davenport Beach, and um, there was a seal, a fat seal that, that had beached itself, and it was just dead there. And Esau was there, just taking pictures, taking selfies and shit, right in front of the dead animal. And he's so, proud of it. He's proud of his work. Yeah. Yep. And so the Most High made currents and winds, right? The Most High created winds, right? And those, the, the, I don't know if one of you bros can find it. About the look up winds on the blue letter. Okay. And that that those are the currents in the earth, and then those currents, I mean all the pollution, all the garbage that comes from this coast, this coast, all these damn gooks, and you know gooks are filthy, man. Moabites are filthy. Ammonites, all these Jeff, little Jaffite islands and stuff, these coolies, all all our garbage flows out over here. Mainly these gooks, and then at, at the most highs, uh, uh, his currents mm -hmm. have all of them just just floating trash, man, out here in the Pacific. God. Uh, Ecclesiastes one and six. I think. Okay. About the wind. Let's get it. That's yeah, the Most High, he created a, a system for the earth to keep cleaning itself and to keep, you know, the the, um, the, the uh, cycle going, mm -hmm. so to speak. But here you got the damn devil creating pollution, creating filth, spiritually and mentally, and also physically. Yep, so the whole world is uproaring, man. Yeah. 
that gets you know in the scriptures trees got spirits on them. Mm -hmm. You know, so these the these animals they got spirits on them. They're 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 in an uproar. Leviathan about to come yeah. out that ocean. He's about to come out that great garbage patch. Start fucking you damn Edomites up. You damn gooks. You know them gooks. They show you those movies, right? Leviathan be fucking them gooks up, man. Yep. Godzilla. Oh yeah, the gooks. Gooks are the worst. They're trashy people too, as well. They're, yeah, they're, they're trashy. Right behind me, so yeah, there comes the garbage. They're filthy. It's Damn heathens. <laughs> they eat shit, steaks, and burgers. You bring, bring it out, right? As Ecclesiastes one and six, the wind goeth toward the south, and turneth about unto the north. Mm hmm. It whirleth about continually. Oh, what does this look like right here? That's a whirl. Mm -hmm. It's going from the north back to the south. Over here, back north to the south, north to the south. And a what? What's left? The wind goeth toward the south, and turneth about unto the north. It whirleth about continually, mm -hmm. and the wind returneth again according to his circuits. That's right. And that, and that's, and that's what the, the Most High created, right? But Esau is throwing all his garbage in, and now it naturally just stays right there and just flowing around. That's why you don't see it out over here, really. But then you go to certain islands. I think I'll forget which uh, side of uh, Hawaii. They have a beach that's just a garbage beach. It's just all fucking trash. Mm -hmm. And be yeah, you know, you think that the so-called white man. And because yeah. of this, you're gonna you all the fish you're eating got plastic in it, BPA. <laughs> Did you get the article about the geo geoengineered drought? Yeah, yeah. Well, I'll bring it out right now. That's a good one too. Okay. That. Bring it out, Aqua script. Uh, it's uh, Isaiah 24. It's not 4. Alright. Uh, the earth, the earth mourneth and fadeth away. The world languisheth and fadeth away. The haughty people of the earth do languish. The earth is also defiled under the inhabitants thereof. Mm. They, everyone who, you know, in the earth defile it, and then eat us. Even we defile the earth just because we are stuck in the Esau society, mm -hmm. and we, you know, we use plastics. We go to the grocery store just like everyone else. Yeah. So, we have cars. Yeah, we have cars, but we have we need those things that the to survive in this, to survive in this place. So all the inhabitants of the earth just. Defile it, man. Why? Because the so-called white man is the main is the main one. Keep going on. Because they have transgressed the laws, changed the ordinance, broken the everlasting covenant. That's right. And then the so-called white man changed the laws. He just he just pollutes in the in the, the water supply. Mm -hmm. He uh, he creates products that will that aren't biodegradable. That's 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 wicked, man. He doesn't follow the land Sabbath. Yep. He don't follow the land Sabbath. He just keeps growing on the same land and bringing uh, doo doo, cow doo doo, from his. And those are wicked because cows aren't supposed to be, uh, you know, penned in. They probably yeah. be, have pastures. But Esau has this factory shit. Yeah. He's, he's spraying pig shit in the air. That's what you so called white people do, man. Keep going. Oh. Geoengineering the weather, like you kind of going to with the article. Mm -hmm. to, yeah. That's another way they try and change things up. That the most mm -hmm. I set up as far as the weather, how it naturally it's supposed to naturally. Uh, you know, this is an agric agricultural state where they have most of the farming to come from, and it's never been a drought this bad because Esau is trying to force it to happen. Yeah. Yep, yeah, and then when you do when you study, you check out why the Dust Bowl happened. That was a drought in the Midwest. Esau geoengineered that as well. Yeah. So he could buy it. That's why you got all those super, look, yep. you get them super uh, corporate corn GMO plants out there. Monsanto owns that all out there in yeah. the Midwest. Corn GMO, soy GMO fields. Just basically taking farmland from private people, individual people, making it all incorporated, big companies. Yep. And he also, uh, under that double FDR, took... Um, the gold standard off the dollar too. Okay. Yep, gold and all gold certificates. And that really was like, when that happened, that was when America was just the Constitution was done for, man. Yeah. 
Because after that, they created the IRS. They started making the FBI, right? Yeah. Then came the CIA, all these things, the white man. Now the white man has the NSA. That's the big, that's the big one right now. Oh, the yeah. DHS. Like and see, shit. FEMA yeah. and all those yeah. things. Are going, that's all just for you people to get <laughs> thrown in concentration camps. Yeah. Yeah. For yeah. niggas like this. See, all these niggas, they got a special place for niggas like this, man. Yeah. That's why Babylon's budget, you know, a majority of it goes to military. Yep. Because they're about to use military on domestic soil. Yep. They're already having training uh, U.S. riot drills. Yeah. Well, no. Jade Helm, they're going to have Jade Helm. Yeah. Well, we might go into that, too. Yeah. That That's Esau having a training session. You know, every time they do a little uh, training, false flags happen, right? Mm -hmm. That's what happened. Boston let's bombing. Uh, let's uh, read the rest of this, and we'll read this uh, geoengineering. Huh. Therefore, it has the curse devoured the earth. And they that dwell therein are desolate. Therefore, the inhabitants of the earth are burnt, and few men left. <laughs> and that's what the Most High is going to do it, man. That's right. That's right, brother. That's how the Most High going to fix the earth, by just, by burning <laughs> you motherfuckers up, man. That's right. And that thermonuclear yeah. war. Yeah, you people deserve it. Yeah. It turned into ash. You get people over here, like the brother said yesterday at camp, you know, America, you're going to get incinerated here in America. All you damn demons. But before that, you're going to fucking die of thirst. It says updated. Engineered drought catastrophe, uh, catastrophe continues. Target California. Right? California's a target, man. That's the article that the uh, brother sent out? Yeah. Yeah, I had to check that out on that article. It shows too on the uh, on the map part. It shows you how normally the uh, how it's supposed to look over here, like as far as the, the um, patterns of the rain and whatnot. And then it shows you how it's unnatural, how it's happening. But they, but you know, Esau on the news trying to tell people that it's it's supposed to be like that. It's naturally just happening this year, like right there. That's one of, one of the examples that it's showing. The, Climate engineers decide who gets rain and who does not. It's showing you basically it's all the Midwest states that don't get no rain right now and everything on the east they getting over overly rained over snow. Like that's why they have record snows, record rains and all that. Yep. Start to blow it up a little bit. Goddamn devils. But this me and the brother we outside, you know, doing a little you know. Yeah. The brothers over here, we over here doing lifting some weights before we did before we came in here. Uh, we were out and you know it's a beautiful day, so 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 called beautiful day here in California. And guess what we fucking saw in the sky? Fresh. It's a clear sky today, but the damn devil had to spray his fake clouds. Yeah, this is exactly. It's a, it was beautiful blue sky, right? And then all of a sudden you see fucking jets spraying it up. And they do that out here every fucking day, especially yeah. days like this. They just yeah. keep it dry. <laughs> and then you can see it driving in from the freeway. Uh, if you're driving on the East Bay to S the San Ho, the South Bay, or even up where y'all at in the North Bay, okay. it's bad. But S7, you know, they can't really, this is all, all foggy. There's like a marine layer, you know, on the coast. Yeah. But over here, more inland, it's all they do. And then when you're driving in the middle of California, they call it the... They call it the the main vein, the I five. When you drive down through that, all you see is fucking air pollution, man. And that's from cars, that's from methane, and yeah. from this goddamn devil spraying it up. Goddamn devil. Bro's getting scripts or whatever. Yeah, just... Zephaniah three and one. One moment. Bubble of course shot. Is a Zephaniah 3 and 1. Woe to her that is filthy and polluted to the oppressing city. Woo! Wait, read that again. Zephaniah 3 and 1. Woe to her that is filthy and polluted. Filthy also meaning gluttonous. Mm-hmm. Uh, and polluted to the oppressing city. There you go. And then the oppressing city is obviously America. Because America is the one that indulges in all these fucking pollutants. Yep. yep. It's got the uh, 
They're always building new prisons, right? Mm-hmm. They lock you people up in there. They're building concentration camps. Yep. Um, and the, look, this is oppressive, man. Yeah. Oppression just just means uh, uh, to pressure something. You're pressuring or pus pushing down upon some someone or something. You're basically oppressing it. Yep, and you got stuff like this. How long until it's gone? Estimated decomposition rates of common marine debris items. This says wax carton, right, for like milk and stuff. Three months. Box, two months. This is paper, right? Plastic grocery bag. Diaper. 10 to 20 years. Disposable diaper, 450 years. Plywood, one to three years. Because these, these can break down, you know? Yeah. Foam buoy, 50 years. Because they get holes in them, right, and they just sink. And that's plastic. Fucking oh, actually they make it kind of. They don't really do it this dirty. Two, ten, twenty years. Fucking diapers, four hundred fifty years. Newspaper, six weeks. Plastic bottle, four fifty. And then when you put when you leave the cap on, that shit just floats out there, bro. That shit just be chilling. Well, that's why you see those old movies always had a, a bottle like that. See glass bottle, undetermined. They don't fucking know. <laughs> But they put those little notes in it. They were finding it. Little ships in them. Uh-huh. Okay. Photodegrade, uh, beverage holder, six months. Oh. Fishing line, 600 years. Fuck. And you know, that's they got more than that. They got fishing nets. Yeah. Yeah. Tin can, 50 years. Plastic beverage holder, fuck. 400 years. Wool socks from the fire. Styrofoam cup, 50 years. Yeah, that's why Yahweh Bashim Yahushai is going to burn this place. That's right. Because, uh, uh, those, that fire, it dissolves elements. It's not mm -hmm. a regular fire. Yep. It's a fire not blown. So it's it's all the way in the elemental, you know, atom stage. Just atoms are splitting, oh. forming new elements. Well, let's see who did all this. Since you, you damn devils like to try to demonize us. Look what you guys are doing to the poor little animals. <laughs> that's, that's terrorizing. Yeah, look we're at terrorizing that. Terrorizing the earth. That's oppression. You think we're terrorizing just the uh, passerbys on public streets, but you devils terrorize the whole planet. Yes. All the, forms of life. Oh, that's, that's a good disrespectful. one. Disrespectful. The devil himself. Yep. Yeah. This guy, he did it, man. He's all acting like, look, he's happy, he's proud he did that. Damn devil. You so-called white people do that, like, all that. Jake, our people don't create this, man. This is the so-called white man's rulership. You didn't see this when Gad was living out here? Or when Judah was on West Africa, or, or even ruling during the time of Solomon? The goddamn devils did this. I'm gonna keep reading on, uh, Zephaniah? Uh, that was it in Zephaniah. Alright. We'll go ahead. Oh. You got some? Yeah. Uh, Micah, so line of 10. It says, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted. It shall destroy you, even with a sore destruction. Yeah. You people want to stay and rest here in America. <laughs> this place is polluted. Why do you want to stay in a place that's been is getting polluting and polluting everything else around you? And not only that, the, your uh, this place is uh, morally polluted. Them goddamn homos everywhere, freaks, weird, just weird, disgusting shit. You don't want like Satan all those guys. Can't even raise your kids in this place. Oh yeah, all the food you eat is poison. Yeah. White man's just geoengineering everything. You know, you you're probably gonna die of thirst out here. There's gonna be no more water, or you're gonna have to pay money that's gonna make you be broke. Can't yeah. take showers and shit. You need that microchip. I read it again, yeah. huh? Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted. It shall destroy you, even with the sword destruction. <laughs> there you go. This place is gonna destroy you. All right, whether you're gonna be destroyed in Jade Helm or by by a fucking 
wild ass niggas. Yeah. Or by the the polluted shit that Esau throws in the air, you're gonna gonna be destroyed. All right. This place is death. America means bitter. Yeah. And then ultimately, it's going to end up with the, the thermonuclear missiles, all right? Sure. You both got something else? God, this guy. Go ahead, I think so. Yeah, Revelation 11. Lock your ass, shitty computer. Am I go ahead at? Yeah, this is uh, Revelation 11 and uh, 18. He says, And the nations were angry, and thy wrath is come in the time of the dead, that they should be judged, and that thou shouldest give reward unto thy servants, the prophets. That's right, so the nations are angry, right? Every, right. Everybody's mad. Cause yep. Really, the, sp the Most High is putting a spear on everyone to find out that this white, this so-called white man, Esau, is the damn devil. He's an Edomite. Yeah. He's the devil. All right. Yeah. And they're going, they're going to shoot their nukes over here. That's yeah. right. That's why um, the U.S. got uneasy when Iran started moving their military around. So what they do, they just they uh, responded with more naval ships in that area. And that's the Valley of Jehoshaphat. That's where it's going to go down. World War Three. Yeah. That area right there. That's right. Keep going. It says, and that thou shouldest give reward unto thy servants, the prophets, and to the saints. Mm -hmm. And to the saints. And them that fear thy name shall uh, small and great, and shouldest destroy them which destroyed the earth. Hey, that, that's that's what we're looking for. Yeah. Okay. So who destroys the earth? You goddamn other you nations, man. You Edomites. Yeah. You Edomites along with the rest of the heathen, right? Y'all destroy the earth. So you gooks out there killing your damn pandas off. Hmm. That's because them gooks try to live the way of the so-called white man. Yeah. You want to be like Esau, real Esau style. Well, well you won't be destroyed right along with that damn devil. Sure. All right, and we're going to get that right now in Reve uh, Proverbs 11. That, that goes for these other nations. All right, because they're hand in hand with the wicked, and it goes for you goddamn niggas. Go a hand join in hand. Eleven twenty one. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So hand join in hand, the wicked shall not be unpunished, yep. but the seed of the righteous shall be delivered. All right. So you so-called white people, you gonna get judged for everything you did. All right, no matter how many niggas want to help you, a niggas going to go crazy on you. Yep. These niggas are going to go crazy on you. That's, their, that's Esau's worst nightmare. Yep. They're terrified of Jake. Get killed by, by a big old Jake, get murdered by a bunch of wetbacks. So all, all this is going to do is allow the police to, to get even more militarized and to kill even more of you, you so-called black people. And yep. it's just going to keep getting worse and worse. And then you're going to see a lot of people dying. They're going to bring in that chip. This place is... We were asking uh, yesterday during camp, like, hey, you think it's the end? We at the end of this? People people really out there know that this, this place can't stand any longer, man. Something's going to happen. We letting you know. Look, hell of fucking pigs out there. Yeah. 
and just Edomites walking by on their cell phones like that, they're gonna be getting killed, getting their heads chopped off. There's gonna be no more food, no more water. You're gonna eat, eat other humans. But let me go on this article, or you want to bring out a script real quick? Yeah, Ezekiel 24 and 6. <clears throat> this is Ezekiel 24 and 6. Wherefore, thus saith the Lord Power, Woe to the bloody city, to the pot whose scum is therein, mm. and whose scum is not gone out of it, bring it out piece by piece, let no lot fall upon it. Yep. Keep going. For her blood is in the midst of her, she set it upon the top of a rock, she poured it upon the ground to cover it with dust, that it might cause fury to come up to take vengeance. I have set her blood upon the top of a rock, that it should not be covered. Therefore, thus saith the Lord Power, Woe to the bloody city! I will even make the pile for fire great. Yeah, and that's all the bloody city is, just a place of wickedness. Mm -hmm. And everyone sees America, man. Everyone's seen the scum of it. Yeah. It's a filthy place. And the most size is going to make, make all it is a pile for great fire. Right. Most sides is piling it up so you can just burn it up. Keep going. <clears throat> it says, heap on wood, kindle the fire, consume the flesh, and spice it well, and let the bones be burnt. That's right. Yeah. So that's going to be a big bonfire. <laughs> yep. Because the so-called white man likes doing his sacrifices with his little bon bonfire, skull and bones. The most sides making the, uh, Israel will be about to have a fucking bonfire, all right? If you, if America. Yeah. Burn your bones. You're gonna be burnt up. All these bunch of a bunch of souls leaving their leaving leaving the bones, man. Keep going. It says they set it empty upon the coals thereof, that the brass of it may be hot and may burn, and that the filthiness of it may be molten in it, that the scum of it may be consumed. So it's gonna be cleansing. Mm -hmm. the fire is gonna use it to be used to destroy and to cleanse at the same time. So. Yep. That's the balance of the fire. The Most High has everything balanced. Mm -hmm. and right now, America got the whole world out of balance, mm -hmm. and all the wickedness in America is just—it's—it's—it's it's, it's wickedly ex exceedingly great. Good. Keep going. At verse twelve, she hath wearied herself with lies. Yep, America is known for being a, mm -hmm. nothing but lies, man. So you you watching this stuff about both the riots and stuff? You we know if this is real or not. It could be a fucking setup. Mm -hmm. You we know if that nigga who got Freddie Gray's even existed. Yeah. You, you know, Mike Brown, you don't know if that nigga's real or not. You don't know if Walter Scott. Walter Scott yeah. you, you don't know if those are just Hollywood productions. You don't know if the, the Esau even got on the moon or not. Mm -hmm. This place is just full of fucking goddamn lies. lies. Yeah. Keep going. And her great scum went not forth out of her. Her scum shall be in the fire. That's right. And all that scum is just all the wickedness, man. Yeah, filthiness. Filthiness. That's just, just pollution. De defiling shit, man. It's you damn Edomites. Keep going. In thy filthiness is lewdness. Yeah, Esau likes to talk about lewd acts. <laughs> yeah. Esau, everything is lewd about you, you damn That's devils, right. you damn Edomites. In the kingdom, we're going to be... And we're just going to whoop your ass just because of your lewd acts you've done. Good. Yeah. Keep going. Because I have purged thee, and thou wast not purged, thou shalt not be purged from thy filthiness any more, till I have caused my fury to rest upon thee. That's right. So the most high is about to rest his fury upon thee. All right? Because all the wickedness, lewdness, filthiness. And right now, we see in this purge. Right? See? Those niggas all happy and shit. Niggas like that need to get purged out. All these... Look at all this shit, man. Look. Pretty soon they're gonna attack white bitches. East Esau's all freaking out. It's gonna get real bad out there. Uh, 
suppose we got one well, bring something else up? Yeah. Uh, you got something? Oh, that's it. Okay. Yeah, um, so back is the you know, second Ezra's uh, 15 chapter. Okay, go ahead. Verse. 14, yeah. Um, this is 2nd uh, Ezra, chapter 15, verse 14. Woe to the world in them that dwell therein, for the sword and their destruction draw up, draw up nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another, uh, another, and swords in their hands. For there shall be sedition among men, and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes, in the course of their actions shall stand in their power. Yeah, and that, that's talking about what's going to be happening. Yeah. Courses of the actions stand in your power. There's going to be no more police. They're not going to give a fuck about Obama or Hillary. Or... <laughs> People don't even really give a damn about voting any damn ways these yeah. days. All right? Because everyone's finding out they don't believe in America. If everyone believed in America, they'd be r rushing to these polls or campaigning. No one believes in this place no more. And now... People wouldn't be killing each other. People wouldn't be fighting each other for water, for food, yeah. for shelter. Because those lies. Yeah. You can only you can only trick someone for so long, telling them lies until they figure out you're telling a lie. Because the truth is always gonna is always gonna be there. It's just gonna be covered up with lies. But you go past the lies, then you find the truth. Mm -hmm. and the truth is, is what we're at the end of this place. Yeah. Keep going. This rulership. Uh, verse verse uh, 17 a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able for because of their pride the city shall be troubled the houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid yeah they're going to be shutting down bridges you can't be get, get off the island of Manhattan yeah. you can't get across from SF to Oakland right and then you're going to have to get permits to go from one spot to the other. Or to be like, oh, you don't need a permit. You just need to chip. My RFID microchip, you'll have easy access. Yeah. They're going to do that shit. Keep going up. Uh, it says, uh, verse 19, A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of, of the lack of bread and or great tribulation. Yep, that's, that's what's going to happen. No one, all these neighbors and people will be spying on each other, trying to see what kind of food they got. All this is going to be happening. Keep going. Behold, saith the Lord, I will, I will call together all the kings of the earth to reverence me, which are from the rising of the sun, from the south, from the east, and Lab Labanus, to turn themselves one against another and pay and repay. Things that they have done to them. It's good on that, and that's what's gonna happen. Yeah, most I setting up this World War Three. Okay, because in in the mix of, uh, of everything, the whole the prophecies are uh, prophecies are coming to pass all in one. You mm -hmm. still have things brewing over there in the Middle East. It's, uh, this the stirring up this Armageddon for this World War Three. Meanwhile, Esau is doing what he, he's doing over here in Babylon, rousing the people up. The, the Lord, the Lord is really using Esau to uh, rouse up Jake with these with these so-called deaths, and it's going to intensify so so they can enforce their martial law as well. So it's going to be race riots, everything, all happening in one. They're going to force out the chip. You know, it's going to be mass deaths. It's going to be pestilence because they're still they're still pushing out vaccines and and, and other um, and other um, um, uh, plagues. You know. This is draw happening. It's a lot of things all in one. Yep, and it's all gonna end up in thermonuclear destruction. That's right, That's right. Just like that, yeah. Amer America get nuked. These other places in the beginning, you eat a match and get jacked up. Got it. <laughs> all you wicked ass niggas, two thirds, you're gonna get jacked up, get burnt up. That's right. To a cinder. Yeah. You can get burnt up if you survive. Shit like this, wild ass niggas. These niggas gonna get even more wild. Yep. Esau's gonna get even more afraid. That's right. Look at, and then see, but <laughs> you can look at this, but you don't know if it's real or not. Yeah, because of the goddamn lies of this place. Go ahead. But we do know what's true, and that's the scriptures. Yeah, you know, and these things need to happen. Yeah, so we get the hell up out of here.
Why don't you buzz one end of it with a couple scriptures or anything? Uh, yeah, I got Zechariah 11 All right. and 3. Zechariah 11 and 3. There is a voice of the howling of the shepherds, for their glory is spoiled. Talking about false prophets. Mm -hmm. A voice of the roaring of young lions, for the pride of Jordan is spoiled. Mm -hmm. So you see the young lions protesting. If it's real or not, it's going to occur regardless. Young lions tearing up the streets. So. That's right. Thus saith the Lord, my power, feed the flock of the slaughter. It's our people. So... We're telling you that the slaughter's coming. And yep. we're feeding you with this knowledge. Okay. With uh, Yahweh Shai. Comes in the volume of the book. Whose possessors slay them and hold themselves not guilty. How about the police, Esau, doing public executions on video, and getting a paid vacation from it. For their glory, uh, so like, whose possessors slay them and hold themselves not guilty. And they that sell them say, Blessed be the Lord, for I am rich, and their own shepherds pity them not. Yeah, because the shepherds are paid off. They're in Esau's pockets. Yep. So that they don't give a shit about you every day. Uh, niggas spicks and skins. You're just, um, you're just going to go, uh, you're that sheep ready for the slaughterhouse. Esau can pick you off anytime he wants. You can use, you know, the elites can use, um, Many forms of uh, the the death that they're going to bring, jack up two thirds. Mm -hmm. But the elect, they're going to make it out of it. That's out right. of all the uh, affliction, all the tribulation, the elect, the one third, can make it through that fire and be uh, be up in the chariots. And, uh, that's, that's the only safe zone. There's nowhere on the on the on the globe is going to be a safe zone. That's why you got to be uh, saved in the chariots. Keep going on. says, uh, For I will no more pity the inhabitants of the land, saith the Lord, but lo, I will deliver the men, every one, into his neighbor's hand, and into the hand of his king, and they shall smite the land, and out of their hand I will not deliver them. And the Most High won't give a damn about any of you people. He's talking about God is love. The Most High is going to put fury on them. He's going to rest his fury out here. He's going to be doing it, and it's going to be all... All hell out here. All right, keep going. And I will feed the flock of slaughter, even you, O poor of the flock. And I took unto me two staves, the one I called beauty, and the other I called bands, or binders, and I fed the flock. Yeah, to the Mosai. He's going to feed the flock of slaughter, even the poor of them, yeah? Mm hmm. So, with that, I don't know if you brothers got anything else. Man, this place is done, alright? All you yeah. brothers out there, we're going to say Shalom. 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 Death to the soul.